up guys so welcome to another video today we'll be showing you how to make a vertical loop so today we're going to be showing you how to make a B&M loop, Bulgar Mab Yard, or Gerslauer and or Schwarzkopf they have similar loops so today so to start off a B&M loop you really want a pretty sharp incline you want to go up pretty sharp you want to go like this you want to make this rounded make sure it's rounded like that then you come like this this is the hard part so you come like this. You want to get it kind of even, not really though. And then right here, you also want to slightly turn it a little bit. A little bit more, maybe. Like that. So you want it like on the bottom rail. If it's even like that. If not, then just try to make it around there. So you go like that. And now we do this one. So we go like this that you want to make sure it's as far as it can go as a regular piece perfect then this piece you want to come down with force like that sometimes like in this case go like that maybe bank it a little bit it's pretty hard to notice when you're riding but it'll make it so your track doesn't touch So you go like that, bam. Then you just level it out or do what it go into whatever element you want. And there you go, you have a vertical loop. Alright guys, so here we go. We just did the B and M loop, so now I'm gonna show you how to do a more kind of Schwarzkopf slash Gerslowery loop. See so you don't want to go in as aggressive as the B and M. You wanna set it to two pivot, just like you did with the B and M. Um, and then you want to go like this. So you don't want to. Okay. So it depends. So if you're making a large scale, you want it to go just before vertical. So right here, you'll see 81, or you can make it a little more like that to make it 84, 88 ish. Or if you're making it more tight, you could go a little bit over like that. That's what I'm going to do in this case. So now we're going to come around and we're going to level it out like this. Right here, we're going to turn this about that much away. Now we're going to make it about the same length as that piece. See? Got to make it loopy. There we go. Now we go like that. Build like that. Now we go like this. There we go. Just like that. Here we go. And now we are going to finish it off. Level it off like this. And there you go. That's how you make a Schwarzkopf slash Gerstlauer loop.